guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try to make this video pretty quick. Um, I'm sorry I look like a hot mess like I always do but you know pregnancy and everything kind of kicks in and you just I just haven't been leaving the house lately. I'm actually on bed rest. And I'm about to tell you why. Um, so two nights ago I started spotting and cramping so I was rushed to the emergency room. Um, they had done a pelvic exam, said that my cervix was closed, but they did see some bleeding. Um, but because the cervix was closed and it was good news, um, they did a bunch of blood work. Um, by the time I got to the ultrasound, um, to do my ultrasound, she was kind of taking longer. She had done the, um, the Doppler first, um, that didn't really last that long, um, because she couldn't really see much so or maybe she saw too much I think is what she said after the fact so then um she used the probe and when she used that I noticed when she was taking measurements it was like taking it was supposed to be like a 30 minute thing and it turned into an hour thing um I don't know if many of you guys probably have something similar but my uterus is kind of tilted um I don't know if it's a common thing, um, but I've, I've always had it, obviously, since I was born. So, I'm sorry, I'm trying to eat. So, what happened was, I had joked with her. I said, hey, you know, um, you know, I know you probably can't tell me too much because you're not, like, an actual doctor, but, um, is everything okay? And she said, everything looks great. Um, there's a heartbeat. And I was like, okay, that's all I need to know. I am, I'm happy with that information. Well, then it kept taking longer and longer. And I said, there's a joke going around in our family that, um, that there's a possibility I could be carrying twins. And she looked at me and she smiled and she put two fingers up and showed me the screen and said there's two babies and you guys I started crying I was like you're lying to me there's no possible way and I when I looked at the screen there was literally two different sacks there's babies the heartbeats were beating so fast um they were completely healthy and I was like thank you thank you for just I know she wasn't allowed to do that but I just my mom works there and she knows her very well and I'm just grateful that um, she reassured me everything was okay and that we weren't walking out of there losing a baby, but we were gaining a baby as well. So I'm just so excited now that it finally kicked in. I've been really nervous the past couple days um, after I was after I found out I'm carrying twins. Um, there's a lot that's happening right now. Um, I was put on bed rest until I see my doctor on Wednesday for another ultrasound and more blood work and stuff like that through my actual doctor. Um, and um, they did tell me that I most likely will have to be checked up on a couple, every couple weeks, which you guys know it's usually every month that you get your checkup. So because I do have these cysts that are normal, I found out as well, um, when you're carrying multiples, um, it makes sense for you to have um, the ovarian cysts because of the hormones, the amount of hormones that you are carrying. So um, that's what's going on. Um, we are adding two babies, not just one, to this family. Um, we are actually, are, I know you guys probably know about the whole stockpile kind of thing. Um, we already started adding to that because we thought we were doing good on newborns, but we did buy some more newborns today. Um, uh, my sister, um, my sister-in-law bought us a 203 pack of ones, so she started our stockpile for ones. Um, my friend got us size ones as well. Sorry, you'll probably hear Maverick crying. It's nap time. Um. This video is already more exciting than the last one I did. Um, we're finally preparing ourselves um, mentally, but like in a positive way. It's not like um, I'm not crying a lot about it. 
I'm, if I do cry, it's more like of a positive thing, a non-stressful kind of moment. But, um, everything's falling into place. I'm only seven weeks and three days now. So, um, I do have a small bump. Um, it's kind of getting harder. Um, also with the ovarian cyst, this video is probably all over the place. I apologize for that. Um, there's a lot going on in my head, if you can tell. But there's, um, I will probably be expected to bleed up until 12 weeks. It could last till 20 weeks. Can I eat a video? You can have two more fries. Mommy needs to eat, baby. You've ate two times. That's your third time eating this morning. I haven't even ate yet. Um, <coughs> Anyways, I'm still sick, congested with a um, sinus infection. Um, but yeah, I do plan on just taking it easy. Um, it sucks. I'm not going to lie. I There's just a bunch of things going on this weekend that I want to participate in and I can't. Um, we were supposed to be go grocery shopping today and I actually used the um, Walmart pickup. Uh, Walmart grocery pickup. So... We gotta go pick our groceries up between 6 and 7. That means I don't have to get out of the car. Which we might start doing that anyways. Because if I have twins, there is no possible way I'm going inside. No way. Um, but, yeah, I've just been kind of working on our registry. Which is fun. Um, since I'm in, stuck in bed, that's kind of just what I've been doing. Um, researching. Planning. Kind of figuring out what's necessary and what's not. Um, there's a lot of expensive twin products out there that I just found weren't necessary. Um, a lot of mothers didn't find them necessary, so I'm not going to invest in it. Um, my friends and family have been so supportive. They're, I mean, they were shocked, but they've been so supportive, um, trying to help us out with, like, the bigger items, like the cribs. Um, like, my friend wants to buy us a dresser. Or something like that. Because obviously with twins you're going to have a bunch of clothes. Um, but Colby and I are going to, like I said, keep stocking up on like diapers and wipes. My family even told me not to even, and my friends had told me not even to worry about buying them. Because they're going to take care of us. But I <clears throat> feel like there's so many things that I personally want to get. We're not even worried about buying clothes for them. Because we don't know what they're what they are but when we do find out I'm not I might go pick up like one little like um to go outfit to to go outfit home you know to go home outfit um I might get them those but other than that and like what's going in maybe what's going in my hospital bag I don't know but there's just a lot going on you guys and I have nothing else to do but to plan Can for them meal with this? no I don't have enough. I used it for Maverick's last bottle. Okay, some. Some what? Milk. It's in his bottle. I know, but. No, he's going at night. <laughs> but Weston's about to go down because he's getting fussy. <laughs> then go play. <laughs> what am I going to do with four kids? Why are you being like this? One second. Okay, so I'm back. Um. Anyways. <clears throat> that's kind of the gist of what's been going on. Um. If you guys want to know any more information about. Like, uh the cyst or anything like that um i will try to make a more in-depth video about all that um once i find more about it um once i go to my doctor's appointment wednesday i'll be able to share a little bit more with you guys but at this point from what i learned um the babies are healthy baby a's heartbeat was 139 baby b was 144 so it was pretty high for seven weeks um if you guys have been through any of this, please comment down below and give me some advice or um, recommendations because I am just trying to make sure that the babies stay healthy. Um, 
like if you guys were put on bed rest, like in different situations, like if you guys were put in, on bed rest, what did you do to kind of keep your mind at ease um, and not stress? Because I know it's hard um, <coughs> when you're stuck. <coughs> Excuse me. In bed, you don't really have much to do. Um, did you guys like do coloring books or word puzzles, anything like that? Um, and if it helps, just let me know. Um, if you had cysts, let me know what happened with your situation. Um, if you're having twins, what products did you guys recommend? Um, and were worth it? Um, I don't mind spending a lot of money on a product if I get recommended those products and they're like, it's a definite, um, what was I going to say? I can't think. Um, just if you recommend the product and like multiple people end up recommending it, um, I don't mind spending the money on it or adding it to my registry. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am sorry it's I've kind of been MIA, but now you guys know what's been actually going on. Um, it's good news, um, but I just have to be taking it easy so you guys won't be seeing me do a whole bunch other than probably laying in bed or sitting in the car or, you know stuff like that um we do have a birthday party going on Sunday so <coughs> I'll probably do a vlog of that but again I'll be sitting down I won't be able to like walk around or do much um but yeah that's what's going on and I hope you guys like I said enjoyed this video um prayers you guys if you guys pray please pray for us because oh my god we're gonna have four kids and like I said it finally kicked in but I just need prayers because I don't know how this is gonna happen but obviously God thinks we can handle it and I'm so appreciative of him um he kind of answered our son's prayers Weston wanted two babies one for him one for Maverick um and that's what's kind of going on so Thank you to the good Lord above. Um, and if you guys are trying to conceive, just if you are close to God, pray about it. Um, give it all to him and just stay positive. Um, it took us two months to get pregnant. So um, I don't mean to brag or any, like I'm not trying to brag or anything, but um it wasn't easy, and my pregnancies were not easy either. Um, everything, usually something bad, um, ended up happening with each pregnancy. So, like I said, um, it's a very serious situation. Um, you gotta do what you gotta do to make sure the babies are healthy or baby. So, like I said, just stay positive. Give it all to him. Believe in him, because he will only give you what you can handle. Um... And what's meant to be is meant to be. So, this is how I'm going to end out the vlog or video. Um, again, sorry that it's not a vlog or anything fun. I will have a grocery haul for you guys because I did order those, like I said earlier. Um, and I'll kind of show you what I'm able to eat and why I got it. Yes, son. Yes. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.